Uh, well, depends on the context. Often uh, we have very vibrant and interesting discussions about older people and I love that. When I go and present about things, they often ask me about older people's complex conditions and what are the best ways to manage things. And, uh, and uh, I do talk about dementia a lot, so asking about dementia is a good thing. Um, well, the health sector is quite complex. I do think primary care is like a mosaic, it's like a matrix, and the emphasis throughout the health system changes over the years. Um, I see that uh, primary health care is actually getting a few more resources, but is actually doing a lot more really good and interesting and important work. And we can all argue about the balance between the resources and the and the work that we do, and I think that balance will, will, will never be right from primary care's perspective, but I do think it's very important to get the main care areas out into the community where they're most effective and where people can be supported, and particularly older people who are on that very frail pathway, they, if there are more resources at the doorstep, then it's much better. And, and I think that is happening. Yeah. From the perspective of older people, definitely more of what I was mentioning with resources at the door, wraparound focus for the person and the family in their own homes, and a, a broadening of the publicly funded perspective. So for instance, uh, some of the social and uh, activity type things could be more funded uh, for participants, and I do think... Um, that areas which could do with some development are in nutrition and nutrition support at home. Um, well, I actually think GPs do a very good job of caring for older patients, and I think they know their patients and the families in Farnau very well. And I just want to reinforce that they're doing a good job. And so, if they ask me, I say they're doing a good job. So um, I don't know whether that answers that question. <laughs> huh? Um, I think that's a very good question. I think the common misconception is that there is a huge burden, a tsunami of burden coming. Uh, and I think that it might be as bad as we think. I think that the misconception that everybody who's old is very disabled is incorrect. There are many, 75% of people who are 85 are living independently in the community. Even when you get to people who are 100 years old, 50% are living independently in the community. So I think there's a lot of independence and participation in life and contributions to society and other whānau that are going on that are unrecognised and undervalued. Me? Uh, well, I, I, when I was younger I'd say I can't wait to be old, but actually it is a challenge, you know, <laughs> and I think that older people are very good at adapting and that adaptation happens over a prolonged, you know, longer periods of time, so I'm welcoming starting to adapt to older age. Mm. Hmm?